I want to talk about the protest, but not like all the protests at the college. Pearl, stop. But I didn't want to talk. I didn't want to focus on the college protests. I yeah. wanted to focus on an aspect of it where cops in general are showing up to what is a private property. Like, just because you go to college somewhere, I want to talk about the private property and the college that's going on. I'd love to have Eddie here. It'd be freaking awesome. I wish we had Eddie here. I mean, I called him. He's busy, apparently. But showing I up. I hate you, Eddie. Yep, Eddie. Just for you, bro. But what is what is your take? What is your understanding? Like, I understand people are protesting Hamas, Israel. And they're protesting at colleges that so, they attend, but they're students there. They're paying to go to the college. So, I mean, listen, I was in the military. Yeah. And I think most prior, most military members or veterans will say, hey, I fought for the country so that you can say whatever dumb shit you want to say. No, agreed. I don't have to agree with you. That means not that. not talking about the protest side. Talking about the cop side. What, where, what about the cops? So I didn't, the, I didn't, I'm not understanding the question. So the cops are having to show up and detain these individuals because they're so the way you should, so they're doing illegal protests. They're illegal what, protesting. They're not actually pushing through a protest. A proper protest should be pushed through your local government and, because the local government's not going to. Den- they can't deny the protest. Correct. So they're illegally protesting is the issue. So cops are showing up, and and the reason That's is where the uh, the reason is is because I I think this is a la- lack of education. I would agree on that, right? Because we're like, oh man, it's America. You just, you can protest you wherever, protest wherever yeah. you want. But this is where it comes into is it's like that was a pearl fart. Sorry. Oh yeah, no, she got she's got some good ones. You're probably gonna smell that in a second. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, that wasn't a second. That was faster. <laughs> Ooh, the moment you said it, I inhaled, and it was toxic. You, you know, it's Cabo left. <laughs> Look, my humor's dark, like a kid with cancer. Never grows old. Like holy cow, that was a bad part, though. Uh, <laughs> no, my my, I want to understand how so, you feel about the cops having to. I, I know it's their job. But they're illegally. The thing is, it's illegal broadcast, illegal protest, protest on a college campus, which is private property. Okay. So they're doing this, and there's been videos all over of the cops going in and of cops going. My ham. favorite one is still the guy who is who went into limp fish mode and thought that that would stop the cop, and he just like I didn't see that one. Picked him up by like his arm and his leg and hauled him off. Mad props. I haven't seen that just one. Just like. Just like nothing, like like you could tell that this guy was like, oh yeah, I lift. The <laughs> only one I've seen where someone just goes limp fish is he's running, and then he realizes the cops are getting closer, so he just limps and just face plants into the dirt, and the cop just grabs his foot and pulls him to his patrol car. It's like you got to think they're they're just doing the job. Yeah, they're doing what they're called for. It's an illegal protest. It's it's what's going on. Which, I mean, that's the thing is, like, I get the struggle with the very statement of an illegal protest frustrates me, but I understand why it's a thing because, you know, I... It, it, the it security should, piece of it? Well, no, Keeping because there should, there should be no ability for anyone to deny me my ability to protest. Oh, agree. And, but that happened. It, that has happened in the past, it especially has during the... Um, 80s and 90s, it happened. Yeah. During it, 60s and 70s, it happened. Yeah. It's, it's happened pretty much since protesting in America was a thing, right? The, through, through, throughout the entire 20th century, we can go it happened. 19, 1920s election where women were able to start voting. Yeah. And that was the first protest. But again, it was still, they still did it a proper way, which... I think the point of where I'm think, going with this. I think this. a proper protest is something that does not interfere with your other man, because this is my libertarian roots coming in. And yes. it's like, I want you to be able to do whatever you want to do, as long as what you're doing doesn't fuck with everyone else's world. And I think that's more or less where I'm going. I would 
I would want it more broadcasted in a way where you can search protest and how to sign up for a protest on yes. Google or Bing because yeah. well, it, it realistically, I have, I, I agree with serious, you. I have no problem with you wanting to protest. I don't. I fought for that right. You fought for that right. So, so what we're saying here is that this is some. This is another aspect that needs to be introduced to our education system, right? Oh, like, hands down. Hey, by the way, if you want to protest something, this here's is the, the way, way you to go, go about, about it. it. Yep. So that it and by the way, it needs to be reinforced that the government, as long as where where you're, because you can't protest in the middle of the highway. As long right? as you're not violent, they have no legal obligation to not allow you. Right, as long as you're not like protesting in the middle of a roadway. Yep. You don't impair or impede the right. populace. Right. Because in in my in my opinion, if you're if you're protesting in the middle of a highway, if you're impeding and you get run over, it's your fault. It's your fault. Yep. Because it's, it's ma- oh, 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 bro. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Dude. The, I can't tell you the number of times that me and my dad watched videos this, of people protesting in the this highway. Video, and we're like, "Man, it's just weird." Because so I apologize now, but dude, bro, Mike, holy shit, dude, I don't even know what they're protesting, but dude with a modified 2002 BMW M3 pulls up. He's honking. Dude's not moving out of the way. He's like, "Oh, this is what we're doing." Like they're blocking the whole road. Nobody's going. Either way, like, my car's loud. Like, my car's obnoxiously loud. Yeah. It was like, well, my bike's obnoxiously loud. I get it. But no. What does he do? He backs up, turns around, puts the bike pipes, like, this close to this dude, and just neutral bombs this car. Ooh. And all you hear is, blah, 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 blah. It's the point that fire comes out at one of them that you see it and it's still popping multiple times you're like "Mm." he felt your frustration of fuck you bro i need to get where i'm going like you're killing my gas mileage to the point dude got off he continued on four or five cars came the funniest part is a tesla pulls up and dude sits in front of the tesla he's like what are you gonna do play your music loud like yeah like you, you got nothing on you me. You got shit, bro. That's where I think education could help in a proper protest. Don't block Dude, roadways. Don't. I, I want you to be able to get your view out there. I hands want down. you to be. I want you to be able to fucking yell obscenities yep. at people. Fuck it. I don't care. I don't have to agree with you, and I might counter protest. But again. I've submitted whatever paperwork that, again, the city council can't deny because I've submitted the paperwork. It was no different when San Antonio had whatever, what was it, gay pride or some showing or, like, (coughs) if that's what you want to do, I don't care. I don't know exactly what it is, so I'm totally non-kosher on this, but they went down and had drag shows. Yeah. Message came through on one of the feeds I was on, and it was like, everybody's over here protesting it, and... They're threatening violence. So me and like, at the time, 40-something other veterans went down there with our firearms. It's like, mm-hmm. we fought for this shit. We don't agree with don't this or this. Agree. But we fought for them to have this right. So hands down, screw you, no. And we're there, I'm wearing my body armor. I rode my bike down. <laughs> I think I parked on the front of the church at the time. And we're there and we're all just... We're posted up, and it was only 40 people that I knew got the message, 40 plus, something like that. But there was other people that got the memo. Everyone that agreed or disagreed, the agreement or disagreement was irrelevant. It came down to to this was a right we agree and fought for. Yes. Like, this is what we support our veterans for. This is what, and there was some dude never served. He went to jail like four times. And was still out there. All dude had was a knife and body armor. And he had first aid kit on his back. He was like, they're doing this because it's their right. Yeah. They have the same right you do to protest. And the protest was legal. Yep. It just, it came down to, it got to a point where it was violent that the cops in Fort SWAT and everybody came down in riot gear and they pushed us back. They're like, put your guns on safety and back up. 
It was like, cool, I'll put it on safety. I still got one in the chamber, but let, yeah, bro. let's go. Let, 